A side note about the DHs. I don't like a DH. Why? I don't think they should be. You don't have somebody in basketball come in to shoot free throws. Right? You so? don't take a person who's playing the majority of the game, and then when it stops for this particular moment, like, it, what would Shaq have been if they could have pulled him out of the free throw line just to stick somebody else in for that small portion? Yeah, but, like, basketball games are nonstop, though. Like, they're continuous. You stop for free throws, even, but you don't – Yeah. One team doesn't run off the floor and the other team run on the floor at the same time. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Even more reason to not give your players an extra break and take them out of another element of the I game. I love the DH. I don't think pitchers should hit. You should not have a team with an automatic out in your lineup. It's just not. It's not an automatic out. Yeah. You're changing rules to keep them in the game. Yeah. Make I, them hit. I kind of agree with Coop here. It's No. No, I don't. It, you play to win the game. And if and you another... guy, guy can't hit, don't play him. Or yeah. if he can't, or if he's that good on defense or pitching, take his out. I mean, you, yeah. that's the strategy of it. No, DH all the there's way. There's a crisis in the MLB on player salaries. We can't pay everybody, but we're creating more jobs. We're creating extra people we have to keep on the rosters you just for the to spot anybody extra. to hit for somebody that's already on the team. You have somebody already on the team that just steps into that role. You're not, you're not going out and getting an extra roster spot. For a DH. You think, yeah, you are. You don't. You, you don't grant it an extra roster drop your spot roster size. For, it's the roster stays the same. There's players are listed with position of DH. Yeah. David Ortiz. If there's no, if there's no DH, what is that player's position? David Free agency. Or, David Ortiz is war. If he had to play first base, it would not. I don't know what it is, but it wouldn't be as high. If that guy had to play the field. It, and I think that is 100% true. Would yeah. you rather have guys that focused on pitching, throwing the ball, or would you want position players that also could have to worry about hitting two, throwing the ball? Yeah. No. I mean, <laughs> there are position players that pitch sometimes yeah. in the need. <laughs> and, and, Not and, very good. And, I mean, I'm a catcher. Being a catcher is – Way more taxing on the body and mind than pitching, and I have to go out there and hit. So why can't a pitcher? I mean, all he's doing is throwing. We play 162 games a year. I'm asking you to start 32 of them, and in those 32, I'm not going to make you bat. And it's probably yeah. it's what probably, is up with that? It's probably two at bats, minimum or max. Yeah, minimum. No. So Max Scherzer is going to play half of 30 games this year. We'll say 35. So they pitch him a little extra and is going to make more than four MLB team payrolls. So be it. For 35 half games. <laughs> because he's not on offense. It doesn't matter. DH all the way, yeah. baby. It makes the game better. I don't want Bronson Arroyo up there with a freaking bat in his hand. You I can't say it makes the game better when you want three point conversions in the NFL to get ready kickers. It's oh, the same I'm... thing. A, a DH is a kicker. I mean. Yeah. I mean, you don't see people running on the soccer field. I see field a DH a as a returner. All right, let me ask you this. There are people in the NFL that just return punts. That's all they do. Yeah. I say that's not allowed. There are also position players that return punts. But there are also pitchers like Otani that can still hit. Yeah, and they should. <laughs> but I agree. That, but that's the thing, though, is they are using a roster spot for that guy. They are yeah. new. They're using a roster spot for a DH. So let me ask you, let me tell you this. The guys that were already DHs are staying DHs. The guys that are in the league that abolished the DH have already had players on that roster that just step into that role. Like they don't go and, and open a roster spot just for the guy that, they have, that has the DH. There's somebody well, already We're going to come back to this goal. conversation next week after we look at the National League signings from the offseason and see how many players that were signed in the offseason for the National League are now DHs. Yeah, what? Albert Pujols, number one. It, did he play? Has he played in the game? Oh, I haven't even checked. Oh, yeah, they started him opening day. I mean, he is their left-handed DH, or when they're facing a left-handed pitcher, he is their DH. That so, is 100%. I mean, granted, it's the storybook ending for him and that franchise to come home, yeah. but that's the only reason why they signed him. So now they have to have a right-handed DH as well. That's two <laughs> roster spots and salaries they don't need. 
So you're talking about DH roster spots, and you were just having a conversation about pitching roster spots. You can't no, have pitchers are pitchers are fine. You need the pitchers. I'm saying pitchers hit. You don't need the DH yeah. spot. No, DH all the way. If Make you agree with me, no, no. Bartolo Colon. Uh, that he was a world class athlete, Coop. You don't get many people like Bartolo Colon. Make him hit. <laughs> Blind squirrel finds a nut. No. Uh, no. Madison Bumgarner. I mean, there's so many exceptions to this rule. And yeah. You're telling me, and John Lester, the guy couldn't even throw to first base and he had to hit. MLB, you can define MLB's problem with two rule changes this year. One, we're going to allow DHs everywhere so pitchers don't have to hit. Two, we're going to allow pitchers to keep hitting after they stay in the game. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're going to allow one of them to do that. Uh, but anyway, I think that the DH in the game of baseball is, in the major leagues anyway, is the greatest rule they could have ever had. Because, oh, wow. Yeah, it's the greatest That's rule. Statement. It's the greatest rule, and here's why. Whoa. You can't expect – all right, you guys got position players out there. When you're, when you're drafted as a position player, you're expected to do two things. Play your spot and hit. Right. Oh, I'd like that another one, and that's play more than thirty games a year. Okay. Not as a position player. Yeah, you're expected to play a hundred to. Uh, yeah, hundred. They're going to. They're going to. Um, when you're drafted as a pitcher, what are they drafting you to do? Play the game of baseball. No, you're lying. <laughs> they're drafting you to throw it across the damn plate and get outs. They're not drafting because... you to get up there and hit, son. That's not. That's not because... why they drafted you. 